Hello there, my name is Paul Ellis and I run a cookery school in West Sussex. And what you're going to see today is only a snip of what we can do. Have a look, the food is absolutely fantastic. I've got a rack of pork ribs and I'm going to just literally cut them down into little, little pieces. Now I've got my oven nice and hot. I've got it on to about 180. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cook them with some oil and some water as well. The water will keep the moisture and the oil will start to brown my, my meat. Here we go. You can add some soy sauce to it. You can add different ingredients. It's entirely up to you. But I'm going to show you how to cook the best way in keeping your, mo your meat moist, nice and tender and flavoursome. So whatever you want to add on top, it's entirely up to you. So now, ready for my oven, I'm going to add some oil to my uh, meat. Not too much. Like I said, this will colour it off. Keep it nice and moist. Now I'm going to add some water. Now this could be soy sauce or it can be some other kind of flavouring or some white wine vinegar to give it the flavour as well. But this allows my meat to be nice and soft as well. Crushed chilies, which I'm going to run through it as well. That'd be quite nice. Now the pap paprika gives it a nice smoky taste. Again, it colours up my meat as well. So I'm going to just run that all through. All nice and flavoured. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Now if you wanted to add some lime to that, some lemon some lemongrass, that's a bit of pepper there. Don't want the oven too high, you just want to cook it really, really nice and slow. About 160. I'm going to check that. I'm going to check that after about an hour. So coming back to our ribs, let's have a little check. Lovely colour from that. Still a lot of moisture in my pan here as well. Must be a colour. Still plenty of moisture there. I've flavoured it quite nicely. Now I've made a sweet and sour sauce which I'm going to literally add to my ribs. Now you could be adding a barbecue sauce to this or a chilli sauce or even a, a Thai chilli sauce. It's entirely up to you. But these are the stage where you could be adding these to a barbecue and smoke them through. But you know, these are fully cooked gone through the oven, I've nurtured them on top, run that lovely sauce on top, I've run that through, absolutely moist, smell divine, and that's how I cook my spare ribs. <laughs> 